Hey guys, this is Mr. Delion9999, and I thought I'd do an update video on my uh, World War II um, tool chest. This is a U.S. tool set toolbox. It was in World War II. It's got the uh, markings on top of the individual who who um, used it during the during the war. I have a veteran neighbor who told me that most likely what those numbers are or his identifying identifying numbers that's their seal number but this is a real real cool box I got a video on this on my channel previous previous video to this and um, there's a good shot of it right there you can see all the all the wear and tear has been done to this box up here you got some damage from latches been putting on and taken off and put back on of course, all of this damage wasn't done by me, it was done by previous owners. One thing I done to it was clean it. And uh, of course, today I put this latch on using, of course, my Dremel. That's right, guys. I use the tools I have at hand. Mom over here supervising. But um, I drew the holes, it went through, everything works good. So let's go ahead and I want to point out, too, though, guys. Mr. D did not make all these extra holes here. These were already there from previous owners. But you know, I love my World War II stuff. That's the reason why I rescued this box from an antique shop. It's got the metal latches right here. Both sides. It's got steel on the wood as well. So, what do I do with my key? Oh, here we go. So now I got it locked. I'm going to keep my ammo in here. I'm going to use it as an ammo chest. And uh, since I'm here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a, an entry for Indy Cooey's video. Or not his video, I mean his contest. Uh, you have a real good channel, brother. And uh, you wanted us to uh, send something to somebody. It didn't have to be nobody on YouTube, just somebody. And, brother, you're um, sharing a lot of friendship you know you're passing along from us on YouTube from one channel to the next and your contest and I think that's pretty groovy dude that's pretty cool that's awesome I appreciate that Neil I mean that's pretty cool dude that's a great idea you know that's awesome brother and uh, some time ago I sent a, a stock from a Mosin and Gant to uh, General Gene 007 I believe he's got a video on it so um, I sent it to him and um, I just haven't done my entry video to your contest and well I'm going to do it now since I'm doing a video on this toolbox as well kind of like get two birds with one stone so to speak but um, Neil you got a great channel brother you know when you sit on your couch and, you, and you're talking to us you know it makes me feel like I'm sitting there drinking a beer with you you know I'm kicking back and we're hanging out in your living room dude and that's so cool and, and your prizes dude you know the mystery boxes that's a great idea because I'm really dying and itchy to know what you got in those those prizes, you know, and wow, dude, I wish you a lot of luck with your channel, you know, I hope I hope that, it, you know, that more people will, will discover you and you'll get more subs because you deserve a whole lot more than what you got, bro, you really do, I enjoy talking to you on the phone and um, exchanging um, PMs and um, texts. I text I text Neil every once in a while and uh, he's just a real cool dude down to earth, you know, and he's over here in Texas with me, you know. So I mean a fellow Texan. What's up, brother? So uh this is my entry video slash toolbox update. <laughs> um see I got the lock on here. Let's see if I can open this. We'll do the first opening of the box on YouTube here. Let me just set this camera here. Here we go, guys. Ah, uh, oh, I got a something blocking the. What is that? Oh, barbecue sauce. Now it can open all the way, guys. So I got the paperwork on here. That's why I know it's World War II, dated um, 
Let's see here. 1944, guys. I don't know if that's going to come out, but it's right there on the bottom. Probably not going to come out. Too much shadow. Yeah, 1944 right there, guys. There's the uh, manufacturer. And this is the list of the tools that belong in here. It's supposed to have a tray, but of course the tray has been long gone. But it's a simple box. It'll do its job. It's got great construction. It's solid. Solid wood. You know, it's got the original hardware, except for the front right here that I placed. But it's going to make a great ammo locker, cabinet, chest, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get years of satisfaction with it. I'm going to take um, Brothers Keepers 111 um, advice and the other Homer and, and everybody else who's um, gave me advice on this and not to actually refinish it, not to repaint it, just leave it the way it is and that's what I'm going to do. The only, uh, only thing I did to it was just put the latch. So I can lock it. So, gonna be a lot of um, AK-47 ammunition in here. Ammunition. It's gonna be a lot of uh, Mosin and Gantz, and eventually um, 223. I'm working on a uh, AR. I already got the lower, and he start saving up some money to get the upper and everything else that he's going along with that build. Uh, Mr. 5.56 is helping me out on that. What's up, brother? Give a shout out to you. How you doing? And uh, I look forward to seeing your uh, your show tonight, brother. If if I don't miss it, hopefully not. I got some things I got to do here in a minute. I got to go make a run. But uh, you're doing a great job, everybody. Thank you for watching my videos and um, including me and in, and in, in your um, your friendship and and the gun community. Thank you, guys. This is Mr. D. With a mambo that's falling asleep, I think. And we're out.